Hey everybody, it's Sam, man. How y'all doing? Today we have a package from Vintage X Collectibles, my good pal Damon. I did win his uh, 200 subscriber giveaway a while back. Um, he had a really cool um, competition style set up to win. Uh, you had to post answers to these quizzes about himself, which I thought was very, very creative and original of him. So... I was the one fortunate enough to win. Um, I believe that's the same box that he got from Steve Collects when he won Steve Collects 200 subscriber giveaway. Or was it 300? But anyway, we're going to open that today. And I'm going to share my uh, strategy for winning YouTube giveaways in the uh, action figure collecting community that we're all part of. The figure community. Toys, toy tubers. Things of that nature. So that's all going to be in this video. So sit back and get ready to check out my strategy for winning YouTube giveaways. Okay. The topic of giveaways. I... Don't say I'm an expert, but I will say last year I won several giveaways on both Facebook and YouTube from fellow collectors like myself who like to share their hunts, their hauls, their unboxings, reviews. So I think I have some credibility on the subject of how to win these things and I'm going to share my secrets to success. One of the key things for most giveaways on YouTube that will automatically disqualify you on the bigger channels, and I'll explain why. The more subscribers a channel that's giving something away, the harder it is for them to check to see. And so you need to do what you have to do on your end and make sure you're going to qualify, and that's be publicly subscribed. I think there's a big misconception on what that means. So let me show you exactly what it means on my laptop computer. And I'm going to show you the visuals of what it means to be publicly subscribed to the channels that you watch. Okay, so here we are at my YouTube homepage. It says home. There's a big old ad right there. There's the recommended videos. There's my continue watching. You guys know the drill. This is what it looks like on a PC. You want to go to your icon right here. And it's going to say... Uh, let's see. It's going to say... No, you want to go to this picture right here. I think. Uh, go to my channel. And then click again. And then settings. And from here, you want to go. There's account. There's notifications. There's playback and performance. There's history and privacy. Go to this setting right here. It's going to say manage your history and what you share on YouTube. These little suckers right here is how you make sure you are publicly subscribed. I'm not sure why my camera's doing that, but keep none of these should be checked. Keep my videos private should not be checked. Keep my save playlist private. That one's optional. You could make that private if you want. This one, keep this is the key. Keep all my subscriptions private should be unchecked. If any of these are checked, and then you want to fix that and then make sure you hit the save to save the changes. comes to uh, entering and winning giveaways on YouTube, um, don't enter the giveaway if it's a channel you just found 
you rarely watch, and it's something you truly have no interest in winning. Don't enter it just for the sake of entering it. Leave that prize and that channel for someone that watches regularly. Don't be greedy. Another recommendation I would make is comment regular on your favorite YouTube channels. Let your content creators that you support, that you love to watch, know that you love the content by commenting regular. Let let your presence be known in their comment section of their videos and become a name that they're accustomed to. And they will be excited when you are picked in the random picker or however they're going to choose their winner. So be someone on that channel that that content creator is going to recognize when you win. That's my case. When I win giveaways, it's on channels that I watch regularly, comment all the time and support, share, uh, and, you know, actively do what I can as a viewer to support that content creator's effort. As someone who does this myself, it means a whole lot when you have somebody that makes even just a few words out of their day on a comment saying they enjoy the video or something in the video that you put that brought, um, they enjoyed seeing and that means a lot. So if you do win a giveaway, thank the channel, thank the content creator, get in touch with them. Uh, when you get shipping confirmation, when you guys hash out when it's going to be sent, say thank you for having the giveaway and choosing you and you winning. So be courteous. And then um, the last thing I want to mention is there's some active giveaways that I can tell you about right now in the tag team that you can enter today. And there's some upcoming ones that are going to be announced tomorrow, which is the 18th of January. And that's the Tattoo, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, Kevin, and Life Anime Gaming. And I'm shaking like crazy, so I may have to use my uh, brand new uh, camera holder, phone holder. Um... So giveaways in the tag team, there are two, there are currently three that are going on right now. Venom Fang's channel will be right here. Uh, his giveaway, I think he's picking a winner tomorrow or sometime this weekend. You can still get in on that. Um, Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles, he's giving away the Marvel Legend thing, the Walgreens exclusive. Several collectors put that as the number one Marvel Legend of 2018. It's an awesome figure. He's going to be choosing a winner for that very, very soon. You can still get in on that. Um, Overkill Hunts and Halls. Overkill 48, formerly known as Overkill 48. Tim's channel. You can win Carnage and you can win the Yellow Tiger Stripe Wolvie from the Apocalypse Wave last year. That's two of the very best legends of 2000 he's doing two winners plus there's an option if you're international on his channel so those are some opportunities you can win now so take advantage of those comment if you haven't seen their content before watch a video before and after the giveaway don't just enter the giveaway and then wait to see if you win you know what i mean make yourself a, a username that those content creators will recognize when you're chosen as the winner so that's my tutorial on how to win YouTube giveaway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the giveaway I won about a month ago from Vintage Etch Collectibles, my good friend Damon Putch. And uh, let's get this box open. All right, at the same time, I've already cut the top of the giveaway package I received from Damon. Again, his channel is Vintage X Collectibles. I highly recommend you check out his content. He is a uh, massive Transformer collector, Marvel Legend guy. Um, he's into a lot of different lines. He's a very interesting uh, fellow. He's a great collector. He's a family man. He's a hard worker. Um, he likes to do a lot of do-it-yourself projects on his channel, like uh, shelving options, um, if you're tired of just traditional, like, department store-bought bookshelves, he's got a couple of options uh, how you can build your own display unit for your figures. 
and how to light them too. So let's go ahead and pull the first thing out of here. And before I get started, this is my one little pickup this week that I got. This is a Island Ray from last year's Last Jedi. Um, uh, she is GameStop clearance, so she was 50% off of the yellow tag price. You can see right there, they had her listed for $16.97, minus 50%, minus a coupon that I had on my Power Up Rewards. The final total to me today was $1.35 for Ray. And I've been eyeing her. I had one before, but I actually traded it to my good friend Geeked Up. Geeked Up is someone I've actually won giveaways from before. He's actually one of my original um, mentors here on YouTube, uh, Toy Tubers, that got me into doing it myself. Him and Brando22. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to share that I found that island, Ray. I needed her from my Black Series. So let's go ahead and uh, move Ray out of here. And we'll start displaying what I want from Vintage X Collectibles. First item is Funko Pop. This is Iron Spider, and that's uh, from Avengers Infinity War number 287. Check that out. There's a beautiful pop. The box is very crisp, very neat, very safe, safely packaged. Uh, Damon's one of those guys like Blucher that will really uh, pack his uh, what he's shipping out expertly with a lot of protection this came out in an excellent shape it's a beautiful pop we'll set him to the back it's the iron spider and then we have something else in fanny war this is this is a gauntlet i remember he got one of these himself this is an infinity gauntlet keychain and it's die cast metal it's very heavy there's thanos one of the best movies, obviously, of 2018. I like Solo a little bit more, but I love Infinity War. Don't get me wrong. I'm very excited for Endgame. Speaking of Iron Spider, um, the new trailer for Far From Home is out. Um, and it does show Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. And it shows Tom Holland uh, restoring his role as Spider-Man. I have a personal note here. I'm not sure if Damon wants me to read this out loud. But um, I will say uh, he is a very honorable dude. And he's he's pretty cool. And I really like him. So thank you for this. And I don't, I'm going to read this off camera, Damon. Out of privacy for you, sir. Pulling out our next item in the box. It feels a lot larger than the last two things. Oh, my goodness. Wow, and there's a reason it's larger. It's the Hulkbuster. This is Avengers Infinity War 294 Hulkbuster Funko Pop. And that is the Mark II uh, Hulkbuster that uh, Banner was uh, in charge of riding, of using since he couldn't turn to the Hulk. The Hulk didn't want any more Thanos and didn't want to come out. Here's the back. The box is in phenana. It's in phenomenal shape. Wow, looks amazing. Very very detailed. That is so cool. Recently watched uh, Do Dog's SH Figure Watch review on the Hulkbuster Mark II, uh, one twelve scale, and that thing is crazy. The detail on it and the weight to it, and wow. I mean, they spared no expense. And Do Dog says. You're going to pay for it, that's for sure. It's a costly investment. But it's an excellent looking. He had it side by side with the uh, the Marvel Legends Builder figure one. And uh, he was taller and just bigger. Next up, you can't have Hulkbuster without the creator of the Hulkbuster. And that's Iron Man. And he is in his uh, Bleeding Edge Mark 50. Uh, that we saw featured in Infinity War. Because of the tech, the nano technology, he was able to go toe to toe with Thanos in that movie. Uh, he actually um, wounded him. He 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 drew blood from Thanos. Excellent looking pop. 
So that's 285, 294, and 287 on Funko Pops for Infinity War and the Gauntlet. And there's still more to come out of here. Uh, there is, from Ant-Man and the Wasp, there's Ant-Man, Keychain, Funko Pop. This would be my third or fourth Keychain, I'm not sure. I think I have a few of these guys at my desk at work. So that's cool. There's Ant-Man. He kind of scales with everybody else. And the final item inside of the uh, Steve Collects box is this very awesome rock. This is Rock uh, from Series 47B Elite. This is the older Elites with the missing chunk right here in the box. I never understood that design by Mattel. There's the back of it. I don't have a Rock, so this is very cool to receive. Thank you, Damon. I, I was severely lacking. The likeness to him is pretty good on here. He's doing the eyebrow. Uh, he has soft good shirt. Uh, it's his classic uh, rock outfit. Uh, it's not like ball headed today's rock when he comes to the ring the way he looks. This is kind of like what he looked like when he left for Hollywood rather than what he looks like now that he's been in Hollywood as long as he has. Um, the rock definitely uh, set a path. That will never be forgotten. He was uh, awesome on the mic. He was great in the ring. And he had some memorable rivalries with Stone Cold, Mick Foley, Triple H. All of the guys that carried the company when the Attitude Era started and finishes into the beginning of the uh, Ruthless Aggression Era. So The Rock is no doubt a legend. And now in Hollywood, he's he's breaking all kinds of records of different kinds. So let's set the rock right here in the back. Very, very happy to have that figure. Thank you, Damon, for everything. It's awesome. This was an extremely generous uh, amount of stuff to win. And um, that's just the kind of guy Damon is. So. I do hope my tips for winning giveaways serve you guys well. Follow what I suggested and you should win a few. And uh, like I said, be uh, a commenter regularly on the content creators that you follow is my best advice. And take advantage of those giveaways I mentioned earlier from the tag team. The rest of the tag team toy collectors links as well as Damon's link will be in the description of this video. Until then, uh, that's all I got for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, liking, any comments you have or questions about giveaways or the contents of the video, please put in the comment section. And we'll see you on the next upload. Sandman out for now.